this is your girl Lala right now back with another video from Lala's world so as you saw in the title Lala's day in court not once but twice so this is not clickbait so whatever thoughts you have in your mind thinking oh god what did she do why is she in court twice oh my god oh my god after you're done listening to this story you probably will end up changing your mind so first and foremost before I get started with this story if you are not subscribed to this channel and you are lurking, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notifications button, the little bell that's right there, so you'll know that you already posted a video. So let's go ahead and get started. So, like I said, I've been in court not once or twice, not once, but twice. The first time was, I would say it was a few weeks after Valentine's Day, I would say around 2014. So evidentially what happened was that for some odd particular reason, and I cannot stress this enough, this was on Valentine's Day where I worked late. And this one, I was living in Colorado and I had my bodybuilding still and I was working at a call center. I came off late, I came out late and I ended up dropping a coworker home. After that, I was proceeded to go home. All of a sudden I saw some red and blue lights. So I pulled over like any normal person would do. Guy comes up and said, license and registration. I said, okay, cool, here you go. He said it with like a brash attitude. Well, you sideswipe my partner and um, you're, you didn't turn on your, um, your signal light. Part of me, that didn't, I, I didn't understand that part at all because it was just like, I sideswipe your partner. I remember passing a police car because he was pulling over somebody else. So I'm like, okay. So then the guy takes my license, goes back to his car, and I'm sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Then I see another car pull up and I'm like, hold up. Why does it take two cars to look at my license? One, I don't have a record. So it's like, this don't make no sense. And as I'm sitting here waiting, I noticed like another car was passing and I see a police car just like rolling up behind him. So I figured I put two and two together. I said, okay, so it's Valentine's day and it's the holiday. So they're trying to meet their quota. How cute. So I didn't make no fuss about it. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna get another ticket like I did last time and just pay it like I did last time. Now, as you guys remembered in my last story, I said about, you know, when Bonnie got a ticket. If you did not see that video, go back to it. I will leave the link, this, um, the link in the description box below. And you'll know what I'm talking about. So, he comes back and he tells me, oh, well, this is a summons. I said, a what? He said, yeah, this is a summons for you to go to court. I said, the court? I thought you guys just give out tickets and, and we pay and you go around away. Oh no, this is a summons that you end up going to court, da da da. Okay. I say, do you know how much is one ticket? No, um, usually the judge um will decide for you in this, that, and the third. So, okay, cool. So, mind you, I never been the only time I've been in the courthouse was when I was living with my idiotic ex and I had to go with him to court because of he had to pay for the ticket that he had on my car. And that was it. That's the only time I've been at a courthouse. But any other than that, no. So I go to the courthouse. It's to the point I even dressed up that day. I'm talking about my hair. The time where like I had my hair straightened, had on some jeans, had on a blazer, a nice little top inside, some shoe. Like, I think it was like, since it was still cold, I had on my boots and I had my purse. So I was looking presentable. Like I wasn't looking like no ratchet person. I was looking presentable at the courthouse. So we, I got there to the courthouse. They searched us, you know, they made sure, you know, you don't have on, just like the TSA, you know, just empty out your pockets, just set it there, put your phone, just set it there, do the thing and you go through. So I'm in a courtroom with a lot of people. It's not only me, it's me, um, like a lot of people. I remember some kid with his parents. I remember I saw that one. I remember there was another girl in front of me. There was a 
guy like two rows behind me he looked like he was a trucker there was a lady beside me and i remember there was another person in front of me so the judge calls everybody one by one the person he called was this kid and the judge is like you know this is the second time i've been seeing you um you know you looking to um, lose your license you haven't graduated out of high school yet he the judge was spilling all the tea i was like well, well shit damn kid the hell so what happened was the kid had to pay a fine of like 250. okay so he had 250. he paid 250. then what happened was um another woman the woman that was in front of me she got a fine for passing the school zone. You're passing the school zone going over the speed limit. That is a no-no. So this girl had to pay like 350, 330. Like my heart was beating so fast. Like pop, 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 pop. And the trucker guy next to me, well, a few, a few rows behind me. His fine was like 400. I was getting scared. I wanted to cry. I was shaking. And then another lady next to me, her fine was like $200. So I was like, okay, I calm down a little bit. You know, cool. So when it came to me, I'm looking at the judge dead in his face. He said 140. I was the lowest number in the room. I damn near passed out. It was to the point, somebody asked me, ma'am, are you okay? And I'm like, just give me a minute. You know, let me just gather my thoughts. I'm cool. I went ahead, pay that 140, make sure they gave me a receipt, make sure at that time I had Chase. So I made sure that transaction showed. I screenshot it, emailed it to myself, text to myself, to make sure any BS comes involved, I got receipts. So that was my time, my first time in court. Never again. So now let's go on to my second time. So my second time in court, <laughs> you ready for this one? Two words, jury duty. Yeah, I said it, jury duty, jury duty. So what happened was I had to tell my employer at the time I was working at another call center before I moved out here to Georgia. Um, I was telling them like, hey, I got jury duty, here's the paperwork. They're like, okay, cool. You know, you're gonna get paid for your time for that time in jury duty. I was like, all right, cool. Get paid for jury duty. Ah, ah, ah. So got there. There was like a lot of people there. And pretty much this case was, you know, they have questions like, okay, are you do you know somebody in law enforcement? You know, I'm not gonna lie about that. So like, do you know, um, so I said, yeah, you know, I put that in the, in the, um, in a the questionnaire. They was like, do you know anybody else who was involved in an accident? And I recalled a coworker of mine at that time was around when that accident happened. So I put that down too. So I guess because of all the stuff I answered, I got dismissed. I didn't stay that long in jury duty. They were just like. If I didn't call your number, you are dismissed. Thank you for your services. Go on. So my number wasn't called. I left. And um, I was able to go ahead with my friend Sheldon. Sheldon! Um, to go ahead, me and him, was go ahead buy our tickets to our first SmackDown, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Because that was my first SmackDown show. So most likely, comment below if you want to hear that story of my SmackDown show. My first SmackDown live show. And, um... That was all I had today of my time in court, not once, but twice. Once again, please like and comment and share this video and also to subscribe. Till then, bye.